Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you some of the coolest features built in to iOS 8.3. Let's get started. All right, first off, if you haven't updated your iOS device to 8.3, there is a video on that. You can check out the card. I believe it'll be right here. It'll take you to the page where you can learn how to install it if you don't know how. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new features built in. So we'll go ahead and open up our notes here. And just to show you, if we open up emoji, it's now got a whole bunch of different emojis that you can select from. It's got a different interface. And actually, if we tap on some of these, we'll be able to see different variations. So for example, that face now you can choose all different races or colors of the face. I think you can do that with a bunch of these. Yes, you can actually. So you can do that with a bunch of these. See the basic ones here are still the same. But uh, as you can see, there is a lot of new features and a lot of new sections here built in. So definitely check that out if you're somebody who likes using the emoji tab. The next feature involves Siri and speakerphone. You can now tell Siri to place a call to someone using the speakerphone and it would work like this. Call mom mobile speaker. You can see that the speakerphone is selected. For the next feature, we're going to open up our settings application. We're going to select iTunes and App Store. Now from here, we're supposed to have a setting that says free downloads and it's going to allow us to enable to require the password or disable that. Now for some reason, I don't have that feature here. And basically what it does is allow you to download free applications without having to enter in your password for every application you download. You can have it require the password or you can disable it. Now I don't have that feature as I said, but if you do have the restrictions enabled, so right here you can see restrictions, if you have that enabled, this feature or this setting will actually be somewhere in here. Another feature which unfortunately I don't have available to me for some reason but is available to people is a feature where you can make phone calls through your Wi-Fi signal. So if you go into the settings and tap on phone, you should have a setting that allows you to make calls over Wi-Fi. Now I don't have that feature as you can see here. My carrier probably doesn't support it, but I have read that it works with EE in the UK, Sprint and T-Mobile in the US, and you can activate it in this section if it is available to you through your carrier. Finally, we have the addition of a new application called Apple Watch. So when you open that up, it'll allow you to pair it. And I believe this is going to work with the watch and give you all the features that the watch can do and sort of connect it with the iPhone or iOS device. And you can see you can tap on Explore, learn more about the watch. Right now, it seems more of a promotional tool than anything else but you can see what the application is all about. Now I did go ahead and purchase my Apple Watch, so I will be doing full tutorial videos showing you guys the one I purchased and uh, letting you guys know everything you would need to know about the Apple Watch. So if you're interested in that, subscribe to my channel and it'll let you know when I post the Apple Watch videos. I should have mine between April and May. So hopefully you guys are into that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I will see you in the next one.